Now, as you'll see, we have the FSPA member portal, and this is where I am going to log in to my member portal and show you all what the new portal really looks like. So now that we've had a chance to look around um, in the non-user portal area of the website, let's go ahead and see what the new and revitalized member portal looks like. So in order to access this, you're going to go to the member directory page, and then we're going to go ahead and click this button over here, the login to your member account. So let's do that. And once you click the login your member account button, you'll be directed to this page the FSPA member portal login page and so this page is pretty self-explanatory we've got username password and then you can have the option to have it remember you or not and then a lost your password option so if you forget your password or for some reason you want to change it you would go through this button and you would have an email sent to you to change your password similar to most other um, login functions so I'm going to go ahead and log in here with my account for Get the Clicks. And upon logging in, this is the page you'll be greeted with. So as you can see, there's a lot going on on this page, and I'm going to go through every item individually. Now you'll see at the top here, we've got Welcome to Your Member Portal, an inviting, welcoming message for you. Followed by two buttons, we have Manage My Listing and Return to FSPA. The Return to FSPA button is pretty self-explanatory. It takes you right back to the other side of the website that isn't in the member portal that we were just looking at earlier. Now, the Manage My Listing button is something new and exciting that Get the Clicks is really, really excited to showcase to you all. And we thought that since there are so many members that are involved with the FSPA, it would be a lot easier if they had the control to manage their own listings. So let's go ahead and click this button to see what that looks like. So when you click the Manage My Listing button, you're prompted to this screen. And as you'll see, there are a lot of input fields. So We've got company name, uh, company type, the logo, should you choose to upload any logo files, um, any manufacturers, and then followed by contact information, contact photo, and so on and so forth. So all of the information that we took a look at earlier when we weren't logged in is all going to be in here. So anything that's input into these fields is what is going to show on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to scroll down. I'm actually going to scroll down past the contact information here because that's very self-explanatory. And I'm going to go past the address as well because we've seen that. So we have a few additional fields and this is where the previous um, information ended when we were looking at it earlier. But now we have a couple of different fields. So these fields of information are going to be seen by members who are logged in. So this is by any member that are logged in. You're going to have a, a few additional things that you're going to see here, um, just giving you some more information on any of the members. So we have company telephone number, if, if it's different. Um, we have another website link in case there's an additional page you'd like to showcase, as well as business started dates and joined association dates. Below that we have a service area selection. So any service area that you select here is where your company will be shown. So if you go ahead and just select all of these service areas that that you currently service, um, this is where you would come to do that. And so we at the top here since get the click services nationally we went ahead and checked that national box. So you'll see here, this is a list of every single state and then Mexico and Canada, which Mexico is spelled wrong, so that'll have to be, uh, <laughs> that'll have to be corrected. Um, however, if we keep scrolling down here, we'll go ahead and see products and services, which is what products and services you offer. 
And then below that, we have national service information. So starting right here below the products and services, um, we can see that there starts a new section with service contact person. Now, any member that is a national service member will need to fill these forms, these fields out rather, to have their information seen in the national service section, which I will be visiting a little bit later. And so if you look here, we have contact one name, contact one email, contact one phone, uh, picture again. Then we have insurance coverage, liability coverage, umbrella coverage, so on and so forth. So all the information that you would expect to see um, as a national service member for other national service members will be filled out in these areas. And so if you ever need to come out and change any of that information or anything updates, this is where you would come to do it. So once you're done filling out any information, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here, and there's a blue submit button. And all you gotta do is click the submit button and it'll submit and make your changes live right there. So there's no need to go to BJ to change anything or really make it any more complicated than logging into your account and clicking the manage my listing button. So again, get the clicks really felt that we needed some type of functionality like this in place just because there are so many members and we really feel as though this is a feature that all of the members can really appreciate. So I'm going to go ahead and, and scroll back to the top here since we're, since we're done with this page and I'm going to go back to the member login home on the left hand side here. So now that we have this loaded up, we'll go a little deeper into this page. So you'll see the very familiar interactive member directory map. This map is exactly the same as the one that's on the, on the front of the website, not in the member portal and functions exactly the same. So if you're logged into your account back here and you're looking for a member by area and you know where they are located, this is exactly where you would come to do that. And it will take you to the other map. These maps are connected. So once you click Florida, for example, and I'll go ahead and do it, we are brought back to that same Florida page. So again, you'll see the lime green confirming that you're in the Florida listings. And then if we scroll down, you'll see every company that is listed in here. So again, just a, another easy, um, accessible feature that we figured would be very nice for members to have. So I'm going to go back to our member portal homepage. And let's take a look at the left hand side here. So you'll see on the left, we have our printable materials section. Now these numbers will, or these um, buttons rather, will look very familiar to you all as these are currently on the FSPA member login on the current website. Um, however, we have decided to give it a cleaner, more simplistic look and make all of these buttons rather than links. So the, another change that Get the Clicks actually implemented with this is how these buttons work. So before, you would have to click any of these lists and it would bring up a download folder to where the list would download in the folder and you would have to open the folder to get to the list. Well, we've eliminated that. So now it's as simple as clicking any of these buttons and let's do company list. And you'll get a separate window that pops up. And in this window, it's going to generate your list for you. And once it takes a second to do that, you'll see the PDF pop up in front of you in this separate window. So from here, you can access any of the list information. It's all right here in this PDF. If you want to download it or print it, you can bring your mouse up here to the top and you'll get this little menu that pops out. And on the right hand side here, we have our download and we have print. So it saves that extra step of it being in a folder and really just makes, again, the user experience a lot easier than it currently is. It, it really cuts out that, that middle step. So again, this is exactly where you would come to do this and it's as easy as a click of a button. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually go back here and exit out of this. And let's just do one more to give the example. So I'll go ahead and do the supplier list this time. So 
So we click supplier list, it opens a new window for us, and it'll load our new PDF. So here, the supplier list, as it says at the top, and you can access the supplier list for any of your needs. And similar to the other PDFs as well, you can go to the top here, and we've got download, and we've got print. So it's as simple as clicking the button. Um, we really felt, again, that this really would add to user experience and make it a lot easier and more understandable um, than the current website was. So if we take a look over here on the right side, we have our newsletter section. And there is a button for every month of the year, which will update depending on what month it is and what month the newsletter is coming out. So you'll see down here we've got December 2019. And then we'll go to the top and we'll see January 2020. So because we've already had the newsletter uploaded for 2020, the buttons actually change per, per year as we reach um, specific dates. So you'll see we've already got the current January newsletter, the current February newsletter, current March, so on and so forth. And this is something that BJ is going to continue to update as she has on the current FSPA site. And any newsletter that you'll need to access will be right here in this list. So that is it for the member login homepage. Um, that is all the, all the information that you'll need to download um, regarding the printable materials or the newsletters will be on this page. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our other options in the member portal here. So if you look on the left hand side, if you haven't already, we have our member login home which we're currently in, our members list, FSPA logos, and downloads. Now we also have this additional option over here to collapse the menu, and I'll go ahead and click that. And This simply just collapses the menu, and instead of having the words for the actual symbols, you will have only the symbols, and you'll get a bigger screen in the middle to use for the member login homepage. So I'm going to go ahead and uncollapse the menu so that we can see our options, and let's take a look at the members list next. So the members list, and I'm going to go ahead and collapse this menu because my, my screen is cutting off some of this information. I'm going to um, explain basically the members list is a simplified section for any member you're looking for if you're looking for a quick contact. So it really achieves the same thing that the interactive um, directory map does. However, it's in your login and if you're in the login and don't want to necessarily go with the map or you know a company by name, this is where you would come to find out some primary information about them. So um, as an example, let's just scroll down here and we can see Absolute Financial here. They, they're part of many service categories that they do. So this is the entire list of their service categories. We have their service subcategories as well. Their primary contact, Carl B. Schreiber, and then their contact email, which is going to be this email address, followed by the contact phone number. And again, this is a page where all of the primary contacts are going to display because it is the first contact that is entered in here. And so if you need any information as far as contacting um, someone directly, this is exactly where you would go. Now, also in this, I'm going to go ahead and search for Get the Clicks because that is who I'm currently logged in as. So you'll see, this is our, here is our um, listing here, and cut this scene out. So that is how the member list works, and again, this is a primary purpose of looking through and just seeing for a primary contact um, for any company that you may know the name. So I'm going to go ahead and uncollapse this menu, and let's take a look at the FSPA logos page. So as you'll see here, we have um, the member logos that are presented. Again, this is something that BJ will be updating, and had updated on the previous site. And essentially, you'll come here and look at any of these logos that you would like to use, and they're all here for your download availability. So. 
if I wanted to use this logo on any of any of um, my documents, I'm going to go ahead and just click it. And you'll see right there, the download pops up and I can open it from there, uh, save it, use the logo however, however I choose. So this page is fairly self-explanatory. This is where you're going to come should you need to utilize any of the different FSPA logo styles. So let's look at the last page in the member portal, the download section. So this is a new section that um, Get the Clicks spoke with BJ about adding, and it's essentially for any miscellaneous downloads. So if there's any PDFs, Word documents, Excel documents that BJ feels it's important for the members to have, this is where those documents will be housed. And so unlike all of the, the printable materials section, as well as the newsletters, this allows a little more flexibility for the types of documents that are uploaded um, to the member portal. So you'll see over here, uh, the documents will be formatted and sorted in a similar way to the FSPA logos, where they'll display side by side in box format. And you'll see here I actually uploaded a test document. Um, so if you simply hover over it, and click if you would like to download it if there's something you want to read in the test document you would just click there and you'll see the download pop up at the bottom of our page here so I'm not going to open that because it is only a test document for demonstration purposes so this is where you'll come if BJ decides that there are, there's any additional information that um, the members need to have access to so that is it for all of our pages in the member portal. Let's let's go back to the login homepage. And the last thing I'm going to do here, because we didn't take a look at it before, is utilize the return to FSPA button. So when we click that, it'll open a new window for us, and it'll take us back to the actual FSPA website. You can have by opening a new window, it allows you to have your member portal open side by side with the website should you choose to want that. Now, if you simply don't want it and you only want to look at the website and you're done with the member portal, you can simply exit out of that page.